Hi, I'm Sean. I'm Rhonda. We want to talk about <clears throat> marital dysfunction and kind of how that gets set up and begins. There's actually, there are dynamics of the struggling relationship and there's actually a flow the way couples do because they're male and female, the way they're going to flow through clashes. Yeah, studies and research have been done for a number of years that kind of reveal some particular components that are present in a dysfunctional or failing marriage. So when they look at marriages that succeed, marriages that in the studies didn't divorce, and marriages that failed, marriages in the study that did divorce, they saw similarities. Mm -hmm. There were things that successful couples in successful marriages were doing and not doing that weren't happening in the failing marriage. And then there were things that were going on in the failing marriage couples were doing or not doing that were absent or present, different from the successful marriage. So how do we put that, <laughs> these things into practice in our marriage? If we yeah. see certain behaviors that we have present in our relationship that is indicative of a failing <laughs> marriage, we want to make sure we stop those things and yeah. we don't have an expectation. We're going to have a great marriage, but we're doing these negative things. So if we're traveling down a negative pathway and we can recognize it at the onset, why not go down a different pathway? Yeah. And so that we're going to talk about some things that um, are in the failing, the troubled marriage, so that you can learn to recognize these things and make adjustments in these areas. One thing that we see in a distressed marriage is a female pursue or demand in a male withdrawal pattern. And that can be flipped. So you might have some marriages where the, the male is doing the pursuing and the female is withdrawing. But what does that mean, pursue, mm. withdraw? Right. So basically the woman is coming after him. You need to, she's pursuing something that she wants from him and he's running away from that. Maybe he's yeah. going quiet. She's chasing him with her words and he's going silent. And, and you know, so pursuit <clears throat> is basically she's being aggressive or mm. comes across that way emotionally and verbally. And he's withdrawing <laughs> kind of like that turtle pulling into his shell and he's gone into defense mode. And the more she pursues, the more he withdraws. So her pursuit is kind of facilitating the withdrawing. And it's one of the first things we do with couples is we help them accept and love the other person exactly as they are because when you do that you're basically acknowledging you know what I can't change my spouse mm -mm. which causes you to stop pursuing because right. usually we're pursuing to bring about a change. You know if we can learn to accept our spouse just like they are even with all the faults and things that you see that they need to change but you accept them and love them just like they are you really are giving them the power to begin to make the changes that you want to see. Because who wants to be controlled? Who wants to be told every move to make? Who wants to do everything they do is your response, a mm -hmm. response to what you made right. them do. Feeling like a puppet. Let them be their own person. Let right. your spouse respond based on their own beliefs and feelings. You, you can talk to them, but usually <laughs> the way couples are talking is damaging the relationship. So step one is work on self yep. and stay off issues right. so that you can both heal and learn a different way that would be healthier for the relationship. So what can you do if you have a female pursuit, male withdrawal thing going on in your marriage? First of all, like we already said, the female stops pursuing. If you, we look at scripture um, in Genesis, the man was supposed to leave father and mother and cleave to his wife, and that cleave means pursue. He's really supposed to be the one doing the chasing or pursuing. And when he stops doing that, she sort of jumps into that role. It's not a good role. Yeah. Also, if you're the one withdrawing, you might have to be able to be a little bit more assertive mm. with what you need to say and your needs. Mm -hmm. There's There are kind and polite ways of doing that, yeah. however. Letting your spouse know what would help you to come out of that <clears throat> turtle shell, so to speak, and begin to be more present in the marriage relationship. Because she's probably pursuing to pull you out. And so if you come out and you say, hey, you know, the way you're coming across 
is pushing me back? Do you mm. think we can make some changes? Yeah. But a lot of times we come across in a blaming way. You always mm. do this. Yeah. You never do that. That doesn't help. No, just making your spouse aware, kind of like a coach, is going to let the, let the players know what they need to do to be successful.